Multiple shots fired. A guy with a long gun. Overnight, a July 4th gathering turned deadly in Philadelphia after a heavily armed gunman wearing a bulletproof vest opened fire into the streets, killing four and injuring two boys, police say. The victims, for now, believed to be random. All we know is that this person decided to leave their home and to target individuals. The shooter, identified as a 40-year-old man, now in custody, along with another who police believe picked up a firearm and started shooting at the suspect. The incident happening over several city blocks in the southwestern neighborhood of King Sessing until police cornered the suspect into an alley. They were able to uh, get him into custody. I can't even describe the level of bravery and courage that was shown. The department hailing the officers for potentially preventing more deaths. This shooting, the latest in a rash of deadly gun violence across the nation. In Baltimore, police are still trying to hunt down a gunman who they say opened fire into a block party, killing 18-year-old Aliyah Gonzalez and 20-year-old Kylis Fagbemi and injuring more than 25 others. People were everywhere running, out of breath, crying because they witnesses. We won't stop until we find those responsible and hold them accountable. Authorities now offering $28,000 for any information leading to an arrest. Already this year in the U.S., a staggering toll of at least 340 mass shootings, according to the Gun Violence Archive. And putting that number into context, in 2018, the Gun Violence Archive recorded 336 mass shootings for the entire year. Gun violence had been dropping for decades, according to the CDC, until it began spiking in 2020, with no concrete answers as to why and how rates can get back to pre-COVID levels. M1, ABC News, Washington.